All right, well, I think I have the Z-axis carriage all mounted, or all finished, ready to mount. Um, I figured I'll do a quick sort of speed video of putting that whole thing together now. So you can see right now the, uh, the anti-backlash nut system for the Y-axis. And then when I get to the Z, we'll see that here in just a second. But I'm just going to run through assembly at this point. Um, I think I've got everything, so we'll see how it goes. So here we are. Let me get situated here. So first, first thing that goes on is the back plate. That'll go here. Um, this is the bearing for the lead screw. It bolts in from the other side, so it's easier to get on there now while I can see this side. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll put that on. A bit silent and boring at first, but you'll see it all go together here shortly. That's the Z, the, the, the Y axis carriage. Now we'll bolt it to the screw.
Okay, and there's the Z of the Y axis carriage. Now it's time for all the Z stuff. And there's a lot of it, so we'll, uh, we'll start with figuring out which side this goes to. Not that side. There we go. that loose for now because I want to get both on and then I'll put the carriage on so that it can make sure they're aligned properly. Get that one started. Taking this thing apart so many times now. I'm ritualistic here. Yeah, that one looks right. Yep. Yeah. Line it up. They are. Now we'll put this on gingerly. And this will help to get it to uh, get everything aligned nicely. We'll put it right here. Did 
one side first before the other so that I get that one reference surface and only have one thing moving around on me at once. These are little tiny number 10 32 screws and I'm going to maybe, if they bother me too much, I might swap them out for quarters. I've got enough room for quarters. But the number 10s work pretty well, and that's what just about everything is right now. Alright, so now we've got smooth motion here, and the bearing plate acts as a stop. It hits the lead screw, or the, the nut on there. Now we have this plate. This plate goes on next. The plate will hold the stepper for the z-axis. I'll get that in. for the lead screw. One last bit will be the knob for down here. And there's that. And I set the knob. Spacer, I've hidden something from myself. There it is. Soon, I'm going to come up with a mount strategy so that the ladder can mount to this, and we're almost ready to go. So there's, uh, there's the z-axis. Let's watch it move again, because that's the best fun. Here I've got a hose clamp 
for the anti backlash. I'll bring a, I think I'll bring the camera over for that and show it a bit because I don't think I, uh, I don't think I covered that at all anywhere else. So I'll be right back.